A box is connected inside a circuit. And what is in the box? We don't know. We're trying to figure that out. So the variable resistor is adjusted and measurements are taken to measure the IV for the box. So we are measuring here the current through the box because current through the whole circuit is the same. And also, let me, let me label for you. So the current flowing through the box is your I. And the V is a potential drop across the whole box. Very nice. Okay, what, what are the possible choices here? Ooh, look at this graph. You know what? Before we go to the choices, you can really think of some stuff here in this graph. We have not seen this IV curve before in our lessons, but you can deduce there's actually two different components in the box. First things first, look at this part. There is no backward current. Now, what kind of component... Uh, prevents a backward flow of current. Mm, the diode, if you thought about that. So some, somewhere, somewhere, there should be a diode involved because the diode only allows current to flow in one direction, which is wherever that arrow is pointing. That's the first hint. Gotta have a diode inside there. Mm. The second hint is kind of the one on the right. This curve looks familiar. This is a component that has increasing resistance. Well, that's why the curve is going like that. Increasing R when V increases and I increases. It looks awfully similar to a filament lamp, I would say. Hmm. Because the other components either are straight line or they curve in a different way. So possibly there's a diode and probably a filament lamp inside that box. But how? Okay, so we keep this in mind. From here, we can kind of guess, if we believe that our guesses there should be a diode filament lamp, we can cancel out some stuff already. So diode filament lamp, mm, I think C and D might be possible choices. Now then we are stuck. Is it parallel or series? But since we are here, let us draw everything out to see how we can eliminate choices. Why not A and B? Okay, let's look. Let's start with A. Filament lamp and a fixed resistor in parallel. So a filament lamp and resistor. Okay, why is this wrong? First thing you need to remember is we mentioned there is no backward current. Which means if I send current this way, there is a reading. But if I change the direction of current and I send it... How do I draw this thing? Send it backwards this way. It should not have a reading because diode. But 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 how do you? But this this kind of circuit allows current in both directions, so it shouldn't have that kind of stuff. So something funny here. Hmm, probably not correct. This is A. B is filament lamp and fixed resistor in series. Oh, okay. So something like this. The same problem here, you will allow current to flow in two directions, either this way or the other way, so nope, <laughs> don't think that can work. So we'll start with C and D. Are they in parallel or are they in series? Let's draw out the circuit. So C, you have them in parallel. So you have a diode and you have a lamp. Let's say we send current in the direction that the diode allows this way. Okay. So, hmm. There's something interesting here. Diodes usually have very low resistance. So, almost all the current, there'll be a very high current flowing through the diode and little to no flowing through the filament lamp. So, okay, it's possible, it's a bit sketchy. But what if we have a current flowing in the opposite direction? How would it look like? So we have something like this. Now we send current this way. Uh-oh, current will not flow through the diode. So all the current will just go through here and go out. So hang on a second. So that means you can allow current to flow in both directions also. Current can't flow through the diode, but it will choose to go through the filament lamp. Uh-oh. So I don't think you can do it in parallel because we should not have a current in the backwards direction. So here, remember this. This is a very, very important clue. So that leaves us with one choice. It's D. Okay, to convince ourselves, let's draw it out too. So D is in series. Why did I just draw a, a lamp? 
sorry, lamp and diode. Okay, so in one case, you allow current to flow through, no problem. In the other case, mm, if current is flowing the other way, it's completely stopped. Why is that? So let me draw for you. So if you have this same circuit, but now you are trying to force current to flow this way, no, you can't. The diode is blocking, so it's a complete, almost complete blocking of current, which is this thing. It sends us back to this. So what's the best choice? The best choice is D. Hence, we are going to choose D as our final answer. So, yep, this is how you can think of it. Um, carefully thinking through the logic of this. Hopefully that was helpful. Any doubts, just comment below. But that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next question.